In this session, we will show how to create scripts, what are the different options, and finally, how to make sure those scripts are valid. First thing first, so how does it actually work? Um, the agent is actually running the KM where the KM contains a set of scripts or possibly expects to run a one-liner. Once the KM is configured to monitor, it means that it expects to run a script on a target monitored host, whether that would be a local host or remote, read back the output and set uh, values according to the output. First phase of the operation would be staging the script on the monitored system. That means the user can decide the script will land on the monitored systems uh, slash temp folder, run, and, um, and provide the needed monitoring data. Second phase is actually where the patrol instruct the script to run. Of course, if the user decides to change the script, while working it on the agent's host, then the script will be staged over and over again, every time it is um, different. Then a loop starts according to the polling cycle, basically trigger the script execution and read back the output of uh, the script in order to set up values on the parameters on the uh, patrol, and thus making it present on true site UI. What can we actually do with the scripts then? Well, since we are running this on Unix, then it means um, the script can actually execute anything that uh, an interpreter is provided for. That can be a standard uh, shell script, as highlighted here. It can be bash, uh, can be corn shell as well. It can even be Perl, assuming that the script will launch the Perl in uh, interpreter and execute accordingly. The KM is indifferent about the interpreter being used to run the shell script, and its uh, sole uh, requirement is that output is valid. What sort of uh, output format do we support? We actually have two of those. The first one is what we call a single instance output. And that basically means uh, the KM expects to receive one numeric value only. That would be the first line. And then the reminder of the output can be one line or many will be assumed to be an annotation on that value. If the annotation is not provided, then that's fine. It is an optional um, type of text that is added when existing. In the example here, um, the script monitors uh, the CPU utilization of a host and actually sets a notation with the 10, more, uh, 10 processes consuming the highest amount of CPU in percentage. Of course, uh, in this case, the annotation can be different between one polling cycle to the next, much like the overall server's uh, CPU utilization will be different. The KM is smart enough to annotate only if the annotation bef uh, in previous cycle was different. So if you create a script that has a tendency of repeating the same annotation, then it will not be reported over and over again to TrueSight. In this example in here, probably annotation will show up a lot due to the fact that the list of uh, 10 top processes can actually be different between one cycle to the next. The second format that um, the KM support is for multi-instance environment. When this is the case, then actually running the script should yield the following output. In this case, each line is assumed to be an instance. The first pair of, um, of, uh, of equ uh, equation, in this case, interface equals something means the, inter the monitor type is actually called interface and the instance name will be ENS192. Then the reminder of the line actually describes the parameters and their value. 
As you can see, we have three lines in here, which means this execution of the script will actually cause the KM to introduce three different instances. All of them have R of a monitor type called interface. All of them also have the same set of parameters. You have to make sure that when you create a script which um, exposes multiple instances, then they all conform to the same specification, means the same monitor type and the same set of parameters. So in this case, all of them have 11 parameters and their names are all the same. So now the question is, um, okay, I created the script. It's, um, it's capable of uh, dumping valuable information, but how do I know that it properly work with TrueSight OM? Well, TrueSight actually allow, allow you to validate this. The way to do so is that on the TrueSight UI, uh, you launch the agent action for validating uh, the output of the script and then when clicking uh, the action to run, it will tell you so. Assuming you created a script, then first you will probably um, copy the text um, printed by the script to the clipboard, then open TrueSight under the right uh, instance, which is the top level instance of this KM, you will launch the agent action called validation script output. The text will be pasted into script output and once you click the exit, uh, execute button, then the KM will tell you whether the output is valid, uh, how many instances it expects to create, um, what are the names of the parameters. It can also detect problems, for example. It is possible that one creating a script, um, a script will not uh, will actually cause the script to dump multiple parameters for the same instance bearing the same name. It happens. Uh, when that happens, actually validation will tell you that there is a problem there where in that case you should change the name of one of those parameters in order to make them unique. So, you know how uh, what sort of scripts you can run, and you know how to validate. Where do you go from there? Well, um, sometimes writing scripts is a bit challenging or it's something we have not done before for monitoring. In that case, uh, the KM actually provides a folder with uh, samples, 10 samples of scripts. Each one actually show how to utilize scripting for monitoring with different use cases. Uh, each one utilizes a certain script capability that is required for monitoring. Things like uh, identifying interfaces, things like um, um, calculating difference between two values, each one uh, collected in a different polling cycle, even averages across a set of values. This is all manifested there and the user can actually review the sample scripts and learn. Furthermore, you can even start off with one of them and change it according to your needs in order to come up with your own script that is performing um, as required. That's it. With the next session, we will show how to actually uh, set up policies to use the scripts that we probably created uh, in uh, following uh, the session, this session. Thank you.